Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a melting basket. I know I'm I missed last week and I planned on doing it midweek last week and then everything just kind of got out of control and here we are Sunday. It is Easter Sunday and we are doing an Easter themed melting basket. So I am doing bunny shapes, egg shapes, Easter names or sayings and I'm also throwing in some like spring floral pastel colors and things like that so it's a little bit of a mishmash of um, a few different things but I'm really excited to share with you what I have so the first thing I have is this um, egg carton this is actually from last year and this is the pastel cream eggs from the bathing garden so is this this is the packaging it comes in and then her eggs actually don't come in bags or foil or anything so I actually bagged them and I don't have the scent notes on here and there's actually no identifying scents in here so let's pick one let's see if I can tell you what this egg smells like um, it just smells kind of sweet to me but I did screenshot because she has these available on her website now but yeah these are a year cured so they are ready to go so I'm very excited to melt those eggs um, I wanted to pull a whole bunch of lavender for my melting basket in the bedroom so I pulled this one's called sweet ocean dreams and this is from oh what vendor cellar door this is I think the only cellar door product that I have. So I have a loaf of that and it is lavender, vanilla, cotton candy, and salty sea air. I have these cute little egg shapes from the pharmacist daughter. These are actually from last year. And this is Sullivan's Island. It's sun and sand, vanilla bean Noel, and, sh and pink chiffon. So I really like these colors, they're super pretty. We have Zape Scoopable in Bunny Tails. I know I gave the set notes when I hauled this, but I did not write them on the container, but this smells very sweet and fruity. Yeah. And then I have another Scoopable from Zape, and this is Lily Bird. This one, oh gosh, what is that? I guess it might be like a laundry, like a fresh kind of type of laundry, but it smells also really fruity. So these will be really exciting. I have a couple little melts left from this bag from Rainbow Melts. This is also from last year in Bunny Bites, which is jelly beans, marshmallow peeps, and sugar cookie. So just a couple little guys there. I have custard from the pharmacist daughter, French custard, pie crust, French vanilla, and sweet and creamy. I don't know what her or their sweet and creamy is, but I'd have to look that up. Okay, I picked a few from the Melting Co. This is from the um, Easter egg baskets or the Easter egg samplers that we went over last week. This is Tails Tails, sorry, 7 Up Pound Cake Pink Chiffon and Sugar Cookies. So they are like one whole egg, but they're already split in half. So I'll just cut each egg half egg into half um new shirt this is laundry zone blended with peony flowers and strawberries lock and key sugar cane coconut milk musk vanilla and magnolia sorry my dog's kind of having her a little pity party um today and yesterday she hasn't like eaten at all i'm not sure what's going on so she's kind of huffing and puffing <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Bunny Hop Sweet Carrot Cake and Cream Cheese Frosting. And Candy Coated Raspberry Guava Cotton Candy Orange and Candied Apple. Okay, and then we're going to get into the rest, uh, rest of this basket here. Okay, Pharmacist Daughter, this is Lime Buttercream Cake, which is White Cake Buttercream Frosting, Key Lime, and Cotton Candy Frosting. And this has like an egg shape on the top. I'm pretty sure this is like layered or something. I feel like I can see a pink color at the bottom. Oh, it's just like that. Whew, so strong. I'm excited to melt this one. Okay. 
we have some little bunnies from Nana Makes Sense. These are, this one's called Hanging With My Peeps, Fluffy Marshmallow Strawberry Peeps. This one's from last year. Um, as well as this one. I think this is Charity's Blend. Um, I'm pretty sure. This one's called Do You Care At All? And that's C-A-R-R-O-T. That's so cute. This says Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow Fireside, and Carrot Cake. Dream Lover. Sorry, my hair keeps getting stuck on my lips. Um, cotton Candy, Coconut Milk, and Lavender from the Melted Mousse. Um, I did want to throw some more Melted Mousse because I'm almost up on custom. So I really want to see if um, I want to do some customs of lavender. Late Night Snuggles, Downy April Fresh Lavender Chamomile. I think this one's going to be really good. I love lavender chamomile. Sleepyhead from Rainbow Melt, Sweet Lavender Vanilla with a hint of Soothing Mint in this like breakaway bar. Um, Destination Wax, I got this from my friend Farron, Sweet and Creamy Lolly. Fruity, Creamy, sweetie, Sweet Lollipops with an elusive hint of cinnamon. Uh-oh. She sounds mad. Do you <laughs> think she hears something? She always thinks she hears something, though, let's be honest. Sleeping on Clouds from Salt Mountain. Lavender, Boardwalk, Marshmallow, Clouds, Vanilla, Orchid, Sugar Cane. Just a few little chunks left that I can finish. Fluffy Dreams from Nana Makes Sense. Also a lavender blend of some sort. We have, oh, this one's so beautiful. This is from Sassy Wax Melts in Sophisticated. Pink Apple Punch, Sugared Peony, and Sandalwood. Look at that gorgeous flower. Oh, I just love her tarts. <laughs> Flew right on my hand. Good Night Moon from Rose Girls. Pink Sugar Peppermint Sweet Lavender and Birthday Cake. And it's like a chunk muffin. This one's adorable. This is Sassy Wax Melt. Look at it. It's like a little bunny butt. And then the little bunny like ears with a bow. It's so cute. Um, this one's in Breakfast with My Baby. Glazed Donuts. Cold Stone Creamery. And that's it. we'll do that one in a second okay I have ranch handmade in lemon and lavender lemon bergamot lavender light musk and vanilla and it's this cute little bunny rabbit almost looks like a mouse but it's a little bunny okay this tart is probably probably one of the most gorgeous ones that I've ever seen and this is I'll pull it out to show you this is the fairies have landed from sassy wax melts fairy garden and cotton candy frosting look at this i don't know if i showed you guys when i hauled it up close oh my gosh it smells so good isn't that just so pretty oh my gosh little fairies and everything yeah this is beautiful it's like a fruity light floral possibly oh so so pretty Okay, also Sassy Wax Melt. She just makes some really fun Easter shapes. Um, this one is in Sweet Sleep Lavender Buttercream. And these are like little eggs, like little chickies hatching out of eggs. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Her lavender is definitely different. I don't know what it is, but it's different than a lot of other lavenders that I, that I come across. It almost smells kind of like fruity or something. There's something different about it. Okay, this is the bathing garden. I actually got this one last year, and this is carrot cake. And it has a cute little carrot on top. So cute. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells a lot like cream cheese frosting. Goodnight Bunny from Nana Makes Sense. Um, cupcakes at Tiffany's, fluffy marshmallow, and sweet lavender. And it has like a baby chick and a baby bird. Super cute. Um, Bunny on the Boardwalk, this was a blend that I submitted to her contest, and it's espresso, ice cream, vanilla sugar, waffle cone, and Boardwalk marshmallow clouds, and it's these two little peep shapes. Um, jelly bean yum, blackberry, strawberry, lime. This was somebody else's custom. I don't know who, though. Snow Bunny from L3 in pink sugar spearmint buttercream, and it's scoopable. Mmm, yeah. Smells really sweet and delicious. I pulled a scoopable from um, the Scented Squirrel. And this is Avo Agave, which is agave lime and avo bath type. 
and it's just this beautiful like lime color and it smells like it's gonna be really strong okay this one she was so cute and unfortunately she just broke let's see if I can kind of piece her back together her little fairy wing is over here but anyways this is from sassy wax melts and this is she literally split in half okay anyways she's a little fairy she's so cute this is in I love spring lavender and spring apricot sunshine passion fruit and then another loaf this is just so beautiful as well it has mushrooms and a feather and a bumblebee um, and this scent is in keep your cool blue sugar cotton candy and vanilla bean Noel and it's layered so cute okay and then I just have some snap bars here and we will be done okay long winter's nap couldn't go another week without melting this this is from wicked essence it's one of my favorite lavender scents of all time lavender vanilla marshmallow fluff and sweet snow sleep tight from sassy girl aroma lavender chamomile and vanilla bean noel we have sugar mints from sassy girl aroma and peppermint buttercream and vanilla um, and then these last two i got from my friend farron in a random act of kindness and this first one is sweet and sour patch i couldn't pass this one up because like the candy and this is lime raspberry with a touch of patchouli i'm so excited to try this scent it sounds so good and then last is going to be pucker up pink lime and pink chiffon i haven't seen those two offered before but it's possible that i just missed them during a pre-order so I am very excited to try all of these wax melts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I pulled for my Easter slash spring week. Um, I might just do another type of like spring theme again next week. I'm not sure yet. Um, I do want to stop putting away wax where I just have like little bits and pieces left. So I might like roll wax over from previous weeks. It might be something that I do. Um, I know a lot of you guys do that and I think that's probably best because I get overwhelmed trying to film videos of um, like partially used wax and then trying to put it all away. I organize my wax by vendor for the most part except for lavender and mint. Those go in a separate bin. So when I have to put stuff back, I have to stack and unstack trying to find each vendor. And then sometimes I miss the vendor and then I have to unstack it all again. So it's a whole thing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time with your family if you guys are celebrating today. And if not, I still hope you have a wonderful Sunday and we'll talk again soon. All right. Bye.